He was born in Manchester, England in December 18, 1856. <laughs> He became an engineering apprentice at the age of 14. Okay, now you take the arrows and hit it. He graduates college with a BA degree in mathematics. And the next graduate is JJ Thompson. Congratulations, Thompson. In 1990, he marries with Rose Elizabeth. He became a physics professor. Okay, guys, today's class is about physics. In 1906, he wins a Nobel Prize in recognition of the great merits of the theoretical and experiment investigations of the conduction of electricity by gases. And the Nobel Prize is for J.J. Thompson. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you very much. According to my, to my research, I have found that the structure of an atom is basically like a raising bread, in which each raising represents the positive and the negative subatomic particles, the protons and the electrons. The addition of each of one, the protons and the electrons, is equal to the total number of, of neutrons in an atom. Hey again! I have found something spectacular. A new particle, subatomic particle in the atom. I have called it the electron. After three experiments with cathode rays, I finally concluded something that will be important for humanity. The electron! Yes! The importance of my work, because it was I who discovered the electron, bring as a consequence the, that in future atomic models the electron is included. Thanks to this, future research and discoveries were achieved by scientists. And J.J. Thompson finally dies the August 30 of 1940. Father! How could this happen? <laughs>